Hi guys, it's me, Nicolette. So recently I'm finding myself speaking to a lot of people around the issues of health and wealth, right? And basically, or well, money and health, if you would like to simplify it as simple as possible. And there's two sides of the coin to this in conversation about health and, and, and money. The one side is you do not have enough money, so therefore it's starting to become a detriment to your health. And on the other side is that you are making bad life decisions when it comes to your health to a point where your health is now becoming a financial obligation on you so the, the the one thing that really i would like to start off is the fact that yes okay let's say you do not have enough money for your you know you are in debt and you are struggling with your finances you're making bad financial decisions and these financial decisions are all becoming a detriment to your actual health so how do we get out of the situation and i think for me that's the importance of financial education and financial literacy to say you know what it is not the worst case scenario you are not in the worst case scenario and i think that's the one thing that we need to impart to people every single day is that there is no such a thing as a hopeless situation you can always get out of the situation that you're currently in the problem what we do is that because we do not know how to deal with these kind of issues we go out and find these coping mechanisms and most of us we cope by drinking alcohol but what happens when you drink alcohol you drink alcohol and you make even more bad financial decisions because now you are in the VIP area somebody has told you that you cannot sit in the VIP area why purely because you don't have the money for it so what do we do? We get emotional about it. And that's the thing about when you are in bad spirits, especially that spirits, bad spirits or your spirits are down, coming from or emanating from the mere fact that you do not have the finances to finance your entire your own life. What do we do? We get emotional about everything. So we do a lot of emotional buying. We do emotional eating. We do emotional spending. We end up buying a bottle in a club that we do not budget for because we are actually unhappy. We're unhappy with our own financial situations. We drink and we get so drunk to a point where we can't make proper financial decisions. You are now going to a pizza place after going out to the club and spending even more money, money you do not have. So it's very, very important that we understand that there is no such a thing as a hopeless situation when it comes to financial issues. Every situation you can get out of. But what it's going to need from you is a mental shift to understand that, listen, I am in a certain situation and this situation is now starting to affect my health. Sometimes people get so depressed, they don't want to do anything. They don't want to do anything. But because you don't want to do anything, your spirits are down, you are demotivated, you are very much discouraged, you can't even go out and look for solutions to your actual problem. Sometimes I always say solutions are finding your additional income stream. But how do we expect you to find additional income stream if you really can't even get out of bed because your debt is so heavy on your shoulders? So the answer at the end of the day is you. You are the answer to this problem. And I know that it may sound insensitive. But the reality is you need to get that mental shift to say this is not a hopeless situation. With a little bit more information, I might be able to make informed financial decisions. And that is the beauty of financial education, is that it comes in at a time in your life where you're like, I actually don't know what to do. And then you get a little bit of information, you get a little bit of education, and all of a sudden your eyes start to open up. And you start to realize that I can actually get out of debt. I can actually get out of debt if I just change one or two things in my life. And that, for me, is what this is all about. This is all about changing each other's situations and saying, you know what, you are in a situation, I might be in the same situation as you, so today I want us to discuss the situation so we can find a way for you to get out of it. I want to demystify financial decisions or financial topics or financial issues. I want us to say, let us talk about money. Let us not be afraid to talk about money because money affects our health. And you've got one life. You have one life, basically. And if you cannot take care of that one life, if you are letting things like finances get to that one life, you will never see your children grow. You will never have an opportunity to make children. You will never actually enjoy life. The other side of it is that sometimes we make poor health decisions and we get ourselves into a financial trap. Do you know how expensive medical aid is? Do you know how expensive, expensive hospital stay is? I, my sister went to a hospital a few years ago and the amount of money that needed to be paid just for her to preserve her life was incredible. 
Some of our brothers and sisters are dying in public hospitals because they cannot afford to get a doctor to quickly attend to them because the doctor is still doing their rounds. Because that doctor is not a private doctor. That doctor is serving a public hospital. It's scary. It really is scary. Because sometimes we do make those poor decisions. Yes, I agree. There definitely are diseases out there. And some of the diseases we can't help. But there are some decisions that we take as people that eventually get us to a point where we now become so prone to diseases or our metabolism is so weak to a point where we're always needing a doctor i went through this i went through a situation i went through a situation where i was constantly sick i had a disease called a conversion disorder i don't know if it, it's a real thing because you know doctors lie sometimes you know doctors they love they love writing scripts but in any case I got diagnosed with this disease and basically what the disease says is that if I don't deal with my emotional issues, it manifests itself through my body. So then my body gets ill. I get ill. My physical body gets ill. And my emotional issues were sometimes tied to things like failing. Sometimes tied to a boyfriend leaving me. And guess who had to foot the bill for that? My parents on their medical aid. Because I was refusing to deal with my emotional issues. But it became, I became a financial burden to my parents. So it's important, guys, that when we make decisions in our lives, we need to make decisions that are financially sound. So when we talk about financial literacy, we're not just talking about the decisions that you make with a bank, decisions that you make with financial institution, financial products, you know, getting into the right investments, finding the right savings. We also talk about your health. We say do and do and make the right decisions for your health so that it does not become a financial obligation or a financial detriment to yourself. So that's basically all I want to say about health today. Said you, if you are right now are feeling depressed because of money issues, seek help. There are people who are professionals who are supposed to help you, who get paid to help you. They must help you. But the, the trick is finding the right person who's not going to take advantage of your situation and really try and help you. And on the other side, make the right decisions in your life so that you do not find yourself becoming a financial burden to yourself. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've got flu but you can't even go to a doctor? You end up opting to go to a pharmacy to ask a pharmacist to give you flu medication because you actually can't afford the consultation of an actual doctor. It's a problem. It's a serious problem, guys. So it's important if it means that you need to take a walk today so that your cholesterol goes down. If it means you need to lose a little bit of weight because your weight is causing you health issues, then you go out and walk because trust me, if you ignore it, it will become a financial burden to you. So it's very, very important, guys, that when we talk financial literacy, we understand it as a holistic thing. We understand it as we are trying to create financial wellness. And everything else in your life that taps into financial wellness needs to also be taken care of. Just like dating in your financial lane. But we'll revisit that one. Mwah!